Wait there, I can do better, I can do better, I can do better. Some <laughs> of this stuff never gets nicer, ever, and I lose the scoop every fucking time. Weird. All right, welcome back. We're gonna go through the lower session, the second one. This one's mainly hamstring dominance. So the movements are gonna go seated hamstring curl, banded leg press, line hamstring curl, and then we're gonna go into a wee bit of calves and a wee bit of abs, and that's really majority of the session. All the quads was in the, the other session. There's only a wee tiny touch in this one, and that's really it. We're just gonna get stuck in and get moving. Good as gold. warm-up sets, loosen up the knees before we move into leg press, and that's practically it, plain and simple. We're going to band this just to make it tighter around the midsection, so I can really focus on the movement here. So we're still doing a warm-up set, we're going to ease in here, but this is so much better because you'll get, sometimes you get a wee bit of lower back pain if you're doing this wrong, whereas this stops you jerking. So squeeze. Focus on curling in a C, just like the bicep. Squeeze, stretch, controlled. I'm not just thinking about moving weight from A to B, I'm thinking squeeze and stretch. Yes. Yeah, bang on. Feeling the muscle contract, ready for proper sets now. Now I'm buckled in, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> count that last one but that's up 2.5 kilos same rep so I'm happy as with that that's in around the 10 mark so that's perfect all we want this is such a cracking movement because you can fully get your hamstring short so you need to make sure that the most important part of this movement is making sure you get a fully contracted Jesus near a burp this is one of the only movements you get a fully shortened hamstring and it's going to really grow them nicely if you've got this movement just make sure that you're focusing on pushing the knees up through the pad as hard as you can and that'll just give you so much more stability if anybody's watching this by the way since this is near the end of the first series we will do more training but if you want to see anything else just drop me a comment throw me an instagram dm anything like that and we'll just we'll roll it we'll see what we, what, what everybody wants probably for me to stop filming now the real fun begins, leg press. Leg press, plain and simple, four sets. We're gonna double band it, so we're not only gonna put it around once, we're gonna put it around twice. Reason for this, just like the hack squat reverse band, this exercise is only tough at the bottom. It's quite easy in the mid range on the top, so banding it just means that it's hard for right, because as you push, the weight actually gets heavier. Do you know what I mean? Because the bands are tightening. So then the double band, all I need to do is, yeah, I need to do it like this, don't I? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I nearly lost my fingers. You want her nice and tight. <laughs> Voila. Ooh. Do a couple of warm ups and we'll build into working weight. So I'm just going about shoulder width. Trying to get a good quad focus on this. You 
to make sure to pull your calf bone nice and tight and never let your bum lift. If your bum lifts, you're coming down too quick or too deep, and that's a red flag. Oh. I can never remember where to do. I always log on my phone. You can use a log book, whatever suits you. Yeah. Edit that. <laughs> Two twenty, right? That's alright. That's a nice warm up. So another warm up. Done a hundred. Done two twenty. Maybe do two two eighty, three hundred, and then I'll bang in. Just do as many as you need, just to make sure you're feeling the movement. There's no point going in without being warmed up. You'll never work as well. Never work as well. See when you're using your phone, and you can even put this in, but when you're using your phone, you're talking it and you're looking at it, whereas in here, especially when there's a camera, there's a lot more eyes. Because thank Christ, I actually know what I'm off. Because if you, yeah, it's busy enough. So like, I can understand, especially when you ask people for form videos and stuff. But I think with everything, if you're not, if I'm uncomfortable with this, it's a good thing because it's going to build my confidence. Because I would say I'm very confident, especially in the gym. And like, even I would be like, oh, Joe, you don't. Want yeah, exactly. But then the thing is as well, you need to realise that the only reason you're nervous is because you're worrying about whatever people think. Like whatever people think about you. And the thing is, the majority of our people aren't thinking about you anyway. They're too busy looking in the mirrors. Do you know what I mean though it is? And anybody that does have an opinion on you is probably a... Yeah, suck the bag of them if you've got an opinion. But that was very happy. Oh. I'm just getting so bad. I'm a master Sean. I'm just facing that because it looks terrible. So ask what the bin. Right, so the lion hamstrings broke. So we're gonna do stand hamstrings. Same thing as long as your hips not in flexion, it's an extension, so you're fully upright. It's just as good. never use this machine so we're just gonna see how it goes. Ran out of things to say. Everybody's the same as me, but doesn't admit it, they lose count of their sets. Don't know if it's one, three, seven. Last movement, plain and simple, stand calf raise. Main part of it is two second negative, a two second pause at the bottom, and a two second squeeze at the top. Take your time with these, make sure they're right. It's nothing more stupid than just loading calves and just smashing them, because you're not getting them fully contracted. Four sets, eight to fifteen, boom. So that is legs two done. The second session of legs smashed, really, really happy with that. Hamstring dominant. Make sure to give that a go because it's not a ton of exercises, but if you bring proper intensity, it is a lot, like I'm sweating so much. And that's all the leg volume I'll do over the entire 48 week block here, especially when I'm dating. Really, really good stuff, and I'll still be able to take strength on that, and that's really it. Just make sure that if you have any questions, anything, don't be afraid to throw me a DM or drop a comment below, and just make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know anything else you want. Thanks very much. Woo! Ah. For three weeks of that, three, three weeks.